back. Where do I go? I don't know where to go. I'm gonna save that lore. Oh, God. Spoiler alert. Seriously, spoiler alert. Uh, why would I even say it? You know, well, uh, it's not even a spoiler. I'll say it. If you... Eh, whatever. I'm gonna say it. The horror lady that you might find that you say it, that you put into the Cathedral Ward. By the way, if you like people, there he is. Don't take them to Eosefka's clinic, except for the rude guy. If you like him, tell him to go to the Cathedral Ward. Anywho, or Eosefka's. Anywho. Oh, no. I'm so weak. He's so strong. Save me! Save me, crow lady! Oh, God! She's not a beast! Up, up, creep. Please hit him. Good lord. Yeah, yeah. I got your back. Uh, I don't want to hit you. Lucky I came here to save your ass, Eileen. But yeah, but I need try it. Anywho, the <laughs> the horror lady is a. Uh, here's the spoiler now. Here comes the spoiler. She's a vile blood. And um, she's like, she's royalty of the vile bloods. Next time I give a spoiler, I'm gonna be smart. And I'm going to say, go ahead and mute until you see me spin around in circles and, like, shoot flames or something. That way you know. Whatever. Right, and now I can kill Victor Amelia. I think that if you, um... Cathedral Ward... Yes. I think if you kill that guy, or if you kill Vicar Amelia before before fighting that guy, you don't get to fight that guy. Hendrick. No, remember how I said? Oh, 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 oh. Yes, the two bosses that I hate the most. Number one is Vicar Amelia. Number two, I hate this one even more. And here comes a spoiler alert. Um. So yeah, this time go ahead and mute if you don't want it to be spoiled and once I start spinning around with fire coming out then the spoiler will be over all right this next guy that I hate is uh, that dude who's posing that beast that's posing as a human um, he's just so stupid because so while you're never gonna fight him at a ridiculously high level or in a position that you're never going to be able to kill him in for, for example, the highest level that you fight him at is when he's um, in the Chalice Dungeon. Or if you do like New Game Plus a million or something. I don't know. But, um... That guy is just badly designed. It's trading blows in the Chalice Dungeon. It is just trading blows. Whereas, of course, in the Forbidden Hood, there's no problem at all. Safe to hit him from afar with whatever the hell you want to hit him with, but it's just trading blows in the chalice dungeon. So if he gets high high enough, then it's just impossible to beat. Alright. Spoil over. Go fight this bitch. I hate this thing so much. I hate you. I'm not even gonna call you Vicar Amelia, you're just Amelia to me. I'm not gonna call you by your title. Respect. You're an ass. Go ham and just start getting the air. 
Okay, more spoilers. I'm going to... Yeah, for real, here come spoilers. I'm actually going to explain some of this storyline. At least how I believe the storyline goes. Master Willem, this guy, old guy here, Master farewell. Willem, he discovered these oh, gods know, know. called Great Ones that you have not seen yet. Trained. But you'll see them later on in the game. They've actually been around no. the whole time. I don't have enough but insight to see listen. them. He discovered them by, I tell you, I you know, basically blindfolding himself. You see how he's kind of got that blindfold the of the blood. and gaining insight men by doing by so, basically. You know, planting eyes in his brain, as blood. it were. And he kind of started this open. whole group of great study Fear, on this stuff, yada yada, and blood. they learned this stuff. Old blood, right? They learned stuff from it. I must take my they learned leave. from, you know, these gods that he kind of discovered how to use blood, the way that that you have blood vials and everything today, and the way that I'm able to use like quicksilver bullets and things like that, all the stuff having to do with blood, all these great blood abilities. And the guy who was just talking to him is the whole reason why everything's fucked up about Lawrence guy. He was trying, he was a little too ambitious with the blood. He was saying, fear the old blood. Remember the Adage. He was too ambitious and he created the beast plague that exists today. I'm not going to go much more into the story, but uh, there it is. Spoil over. Anyway, I'm not going to go much more into the story because it's incredibly, awesomely... Oh, it's, it's really good. It's so good. At least what I think it is, because again, it's... It's not very accessible. Okay, what do we do after Vicar Amelia? After Amelia. After Apple Amelia. What do we do after that fool? <laughs> First off, we level up, that's for damn sure. Very well. Okay, whatever. Starting to cost Farewell, a lot. Good. <laughs> Force a habit. <laughs> what did I say? Oh my god. <laughs> Exactly, it looks like I died. Okay. Um. Oh. No way. I know where I can get some more twin blood shards. Don't think I'm gonna get seven though. Alright, so next I'm going to hopefully get the tonsil stone. Just I've never made much sense about that. I don't know why it's called a tonsil stone. It's kind of weird now that I think about it. Maybe tonsil means something. Like, the etymology on it's just... It totally makes sense. I should totally look that up. Look at these things. By the way... Pay attention to the details in this game if you want to kind of get the story. I mean, not you noticed what there are statues of in the cathedral. Okay. I, I do not think I'm going to be able to kill these hunters. <laughs> Oh, God, I just realized that. Oh, okay, okay. The blood thing the guy stays there. Let's see. Oh, God, fuck. Oh, shit. I like the PvP in this game so much more is so much PvP better than in Dark Souls. There is there is one weapon in Dark Souls that uh, you can get your hit on before someone dodges. 
Also, dodging in Dark Souls is just it's too good because all the attacks in the game are so slow. You can dodge from a mile away. Give you my secret. The Sanctum Shield is by far the best weapon PvP and PvP period. Nothing comes close. Okay, but that's not the weapon I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Warp Sword. The Sanctum Shield is so good. God, it's so good. If, if you want to like have a fun little thing that's challenging in the beginning, but it's super rewarding, get the Sanctum Shield first. Like, go to Sanctum City, go through it. Get the Sanctum Shield and play the game with it. It's so fun. And then the whole going through Sanctum City in the first place is just amazing too. Damn man, I want my tonsil stone, guys. Come on. Keep it up. No tonsil stone. Okay, whatever. I have to fight one of these big guys. Haven't killed one. Whoa! I haven't killed one of them yet. Fuck that, dude. You are cheap. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hmm? sword those up. Here it is. Bloodshot. What if I can? Now, these big guys, oh fuck. Are basically the flames. This thing does not hit them hard enough. These guys, the range, come on. Hopefully my inside isn't too high. Nope, time is about up. See you in the next video.